a bomb detonated in her eyes. Flames crackling. You have no idea what's going on between me and Cole. You're right, and it doesn't concern me. I said, no matter that a little part of me might want to know the truth. Dark lashes fused, hiding those fiery jade green irises. Earlier, I told you I'd hurt you if you hurt him. That's still true. But now I'm telling you to stay away from him, or I'll wipe the floor with your face before I do the hurting. Okay, that did it. She pushed me right over the edge of my patience. If you want me to cry and promise to do whatever you want, try a more original threat. A saner, more rational person would have mentioned the fact that Cole and I had never actually spoken a word to each other and clearly had no plans to do so. But I wasn't exactly sane or rational lately. All about the intimidation, she rose on her tiptoes, putting us nose to nose. I am capable of things you can't even imagine. Right back at you. That's brave talk. Let's see you back it up. Let's see you back off, love button, before you burst a vessel, a familiar voice said from behind her. I caught the hint of a scowl before Mackenzie twisted. Alley cat, racing to the rescue of another stray. Grinning, cat strolled to my side. <laughs> yes, I am. To your rescue, just so we're clear, my alley has skills. The first time I met her, there were people all around her moaning and groaning in pain. True story. Also, I don't want her suspended after only two days just because she did the entire school a favor and fed you your own teeth. Besides, Cole's the one you should be chatting with. He practically ate her up with his eyes. In fact, I'm surprised Allie doesn't have bite marks.